spending a lot of my time thinking about um, this transition we're, uh, we're going through. We talked about uh, your daughters and the transition they're doing back into school and how difficult that is. And I think with transitions, we have, we have a chance to decide what we take forward and what we leave behind. Um, and, you know, most of us are just spending lots of our time trying to like muddle through day to day and, you know, keep food on the table and roofs over our head and children happy. So this stuff doesn't have to be big, but I am thinking a lot about what is the thing that I want to take forward from the last year, which has had some really deep lows for me personally, but also some sort of moments of like reflection and resolution. And what do I want to set intentions about as I take forward, as I look forward, and what do I want to leave behind? And I'm, I'm thinking a lot about that with my relationships. And I think, you know, there, there's no single answer for everyone. But I do think, as I said, we have all had to sit back and reflect on the relationships we have and the and the way we relate to others in the last year and that as we look forward I think I like hope that with that with that knowledge and that reflection we're choosing to take forward the best of our relationships and the best of intentions around our relationships leaving behind um you know the more isolating lonely and disconnecting elements of uh, relationships in the past because as we look to the future it's in each other that we're going to find the safety and the security and the belonging um, and uh, the kind of uh, the the hope that we need in order to kind of weather what will undoubtedly continue to be quite a scary and un uncertain future.